Okay, I've got this pig head soaking in some water with white vinegar and I'm only going to leave it in here for 15 minutes and I've been working on scraping off a little bit of the bristles which are still here and um, I suppose I'll move it around a little bit try to get the whole thing immersed I know, I know from cooking suckling pig that uh, a brief soaking in vinegar water, you don't want to leave it too long, uh, seems very helpful. I'm not really sure why that is, but it probably helps clean it a little bit more. And it, it's just not a bad idea. You know, white vinegar is a, is a great substance. So, it does look rather hellish, and I'm a bit intimidated at the prospect of doing this. But if I fail, you know, these aren't very expensive. And I'm going to try to get the meat off and boil it up and make a pig glue, as Scott Rea calls it. He has a YouTube channel. And um, I've seen some rolling methods also. I mean, it's taken me a while to find the information on how to do this. And Scott shows uh, about cutting it, and I, I'm going to try to get the meat off of it and cooking the pieces for a long time, long time, and uh, taking them out, cooling them down, working on them l later, getting them off the bone, and then continuing to cook the broth, and then finally getting these little meat pieces you know, the tongue, the brain goes separate. You can eat that on toast. Um, uh, and uh, you can pour the pig glue over it in a terrine and press it and chill it and uh, have this wonderful, like, head cheese in aspic. So wish me luck on this. It's very intimidating. Okay, see you later.